Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I have some short, sassy, and really cute nails for you guys. I'm starting off by dehydrating and priming the natural nails and applying a thin layer of clear acrylic. I do this to protect the natural nail and prevent lifting. I'm using the number 10 Oval Kalinsky Alpha Brush. You can get this at alphabrush.com and my code is FEMI10 for 10% off. In this clip, I am zoomed in way too uh, close, so I am a little bit out of focus. Um, I'm so sorry about that. But on the pinky, I'm just doing a simple baby boomer nail. I'm using Tammy Taylor Pinkest Pink and that's faded out to Tammy Taylor White. So on the middle finger and ring finger, I'm doing completely white nails. So I'm just going in with Tammy Taylor White and laying down a thin layer of this and encapsulating it with clear. The ring finger is my chrome nail, so I'm just going in all with Tammy Taylor Pinkest Pink because it really doesn't matter what's under this chrome, so I just put anything down. After I have filed, shaped, and buffed the nails, I'm going in with Madam Glam No Wipe Top Coat on the two white nails and IBD No Wipe on the other nails. This hand is already cured, so I'm putting on Daily Charm Mirror Silver Powder and I'm sealing that in with IBD No Wipe Top Coat Gel. And here I'm showing you how I achieved my marble. I'm using a black sharpie as well as some black gel polish, Madame Glam's Perfect Black. And I'm diffusing these lines using a frayed gel brush and acetone. I take a 3D nail art brush and using the point of the brush, I just refine and clean up my marble. I repeat these steps a couple of times until I'm pleased with how it looks. Once I like it, I flash cure. Here I'm applying some rose gold chrome pigment from Banggood. Links are below. I like applying this on top of the silver chrome just to make it extra chromey looking. On top of my marble, I'm putting a very thin layer of milky white gel. This is a gel pot from Banggood and there will be links below for that as well. I feel like applying a color on top of your marble helps to make it look like it's actually in the nail instead of sitting on top of the nail. Here I'm applying some striping tape. This is kind of like a bronze rose gold colored striping tape. It's really pretty. 
we did three lines to make it really thick since I don't have any thick striping tape right now. And let me just tell you, it was a huge pain, but it was worth it because it looks really cute. I double top coated all of my striping tape nails and I applied a little stone at the end of the baby bloomer nails and this is the finished nails after applying cuticle oil. They are so stunning and cute. I was actually surprised by how cute these nails turned out. I really don't go for short nails usually but y'all are making me like short nails. Y'all are really making me like them. <laughs> But anyway, I want to say thank you so much for watching. Um, if you enjoyed the video and you learned something, please give me a like, leave me a comment, and let me know what you think. Go follow me on my Insta. It's at Femi.Beauty so you can see what I'm up to. And yeah, I guess that's it. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Love you.